top 10 last and worst animals you would want to die to. Number 10. Hippopotamus Many people mistakenly view hippopotami as slow, fat, and cute, but these cows of the water are anything but soft. Hippos are highly territorial and fiercely protective of their space, making them one of the most dangerous animals in Africa, where those four-legged crash-outs can weigh up to 3,300 pounds. Hippos mainly use two terrifying methods to kill humans. In some cases, an unfortunate person might unknowingly wander between a hippo and its watery home, prompting the hippo to charge at alarming speeds toward the person, and the sheer force of its enormous hooves combined with its tremendous weight and two long teeth can crush, slash, and send a person straight to the pearly gates. And in other cases, a hippo might attack a small boat by swiftly running beneath the water, overturning the boat, and using its powerful jaws to bite down on the vessel and its occupants. Where the hippo's massive mouth and teeth can easily slice a human in half, turning them into the second coming of Gojo. Yeah, God, I have a note for you. Any animal that can bite through a boat should have never been created. Number 9. Sloth Bear the sloth bear is not one to be underestimated, even though it is on the smaller scale for bears and knows how to box because of the neighbors that it has in the Indian subcontinent, like tigers, where it develops aggressive and dangerous hatred towards life, with it being one of the only animals that views humans as predators, which in most cases can only end bad for the humans. When these bears attack, they do so with extreme hatred, using their large sickle-shaped claws to slash at their victims' faces and heads. Sloth bears are known to disfigure their victims rather than kill them outright, leaving them with horrific injuries. Encounters with sloth bears are often fatal, and those who do survive are left with lifelong scars, both physical and psychological. I gotta say, Smokey's cousin has a very different way of preventing us from starting forest fires. Number 8. Chimpanzee Chimpanzees are generally not aggressive towards humans, but when they do attack, the results can be, let's just say, unfortunate. Their powerful jaws and sharp teeth allow them to deliver severe bites, often causing deep lacerations and broken bones. And we all know chimpanzees are very strong, enabling them to inflict serious harm through physical attacks. And since they can't talk they throw it, and don't think they won't go for the family jewels either, because they do it to opposing chimpanzee tribes too. In one particular case, Charla Nash had a friend, Sandra Harold, who owned a pet chimpanzee, Travis, and I guess one day, Travis really didn't like how Charla looked. So he took it upon himself to rearrange it like Play-Doh, mauling the poor woman by tearing off her face and hands in a violent attack, so if you want a pet monkey, just adopt. Number 7. Crocodile since crocodiles are descendants of dinosaurs, it only makes sense that they would end up on this list. And yes, while they still lose to hippos, it is their signature move that gives them a higher placing on this list. These reptiles are masters of camouflage, lurking just below the water surface until an unsuspecting animal or human comes close. When they strike, they do so with incredible speed and force, leaping up to 30 feet out of the water to grab their prey. And once the crocodile has its victim in its powerful jaws, it drags them into the water, holding on with a vice-like grip. But it still doesn't even compare to your mother's. Then the crocodile will perform a death roll, twisting and turning its prey until they drown or lose too much blood. And even if a person does somehow survive an attack, they may lose a limb or suffer severe injuries from the encounter. So you better watch out for the vectors in the world. Number 6. Bees. Most of us as children saw bees and imagined ourselves getting swallowed by the hive and coming out looking like lumpy space princess from Adventure Time. But as we all know, bees are essential for pollination, but can become deadly if provoked. A person who accidentally disturbs a beehive may find themselves under attack by a swarm of angry bees. The bees will then target the victim's head and neck, often stinging in such large numbers that it becomes difficult to breathe. While it typically takes between 500 and 1,200 stings to be lethal, a victim may die from the sheer volume of venom in their system if medical help does not arrive quickly. Even after the treatment, some people may succumb to the lingering effects of the venom, which can cause muscle damage and renal failure. Nope, I've heard enough, Barry B. Benson should have lost that court case. Number 5. Tsetse Fly The fly is already a disgusting creature, but the tsetse fly is exceptionally nasty. Found in sub-Saharan Africa, it is considered one of the world's most dangerous insects. Like mosquitoes, tsetse flies feed on blood, but they also transmit a deadly parasite called called trypanosomes, which causes the African sleeping sickness. 
This illness begins with flu-like symptoms but quickly progresses to neurological issues including confusion, deteriorating health, and severe fatigue. As the disease advances, victims may become so exhausted that they fall into a coma and eventually die if left untreated. Despite efforts to combat this disease, there are no vaccines. Where the best and only cure is to avoid it like the plague that it is. Number 4. Freshwater Snails You may be like, what is a stupid snail going to do to me? And if you shut up, I will tell you. Surprisingly, freshwater snails rank among the deadliest creatures on the planet thanks to the parasitic worms that they carry. And if a person enters their home, they penetrate their skin while injecting the parasites into their bloodstream. Over time, these parasites develop into pronged eggs, which can lodge in various organs, causing a person severe health issues. The sharp prongs allow the eggs to move around through the body, seeking an exit. And as the eggs accumulate in the organs, they can cause symptoms ranging from anemia and fatigue, causing a slow, lingering death. Not quite the Gary we all know and love now, is it? Number 3. Blue Ringed Octopus now I'm sure everybody knows the don't touch weirdly colorful animals or you'll die rule, right? Well the blue ringed octopus is no exception. It's a small creature measuring only about 5 to 8 inches long. Damn, if that's small wait until they see my pee- And it is one of the most venomous animals on the planet. Its venom tetrodotoxin is a powerful neurotoxin that can kill a person within 15 minutes. Where the first signs of poisoning include numbness in the face, dryness in the mouth, and difficulty speaking, paralysis soon follows along with the loss of the ability to breathe leading to infraxia and death. The venom works so quickly that victims often have no time to seek help and there is no known antidote for this lethal toxin. Why does God have to make all these animals so cute? Because you know it's dangerous, but the intrusive thoughts are always like, one putt won't hurt, and the next thing you know, your face ends up on a t-shirt. Number 2. Box Jellyfish The box jellyfish found in the waters of the Indo-Pacific in northern Australia is considered the most venomous marine animal in the world. Being nearly invisible due to its transparent body, the box jellyfish's 10 foot long tentacles are covered in stinging cells called nematocysts. These cells release a potent toxin that attacks the nervous system, skin cells, and heart simultaneously, a total three-piece combo if I've ever heard of one. The venom works quickly, and even though an anti-venom exists, victims often die before they can reach the shore. You know, because of the whole muscle cramping thing that it does also. But those who do survive face weeks of intense pain and may bear permanent scars from the box jellyfish's stings. Just another reason not to go to Australia. Not only do they have terrifying animals, their breakdancers are even worse. Number 1. Tapeworms I have always feared tapeworms ever since I first heard what they did, but I guess I don't fear them too much because of how many seconds I would add to the 3 second rule. Tapeworms are typically associated with the intestines, but when the tapeworm cysts lodge in the brain, that is a whole other realm of hell, where they cause a condition known as neurosis to sclerosis. As these cysts grow, they exert pressure on the brain, leading to symptoms such as headaches, seizures, and neurological damage. And in severe cases, the pressure can cause hydrocephalus, brain herniation, and death. But even after the cysts die, they can continue to cause problems, as the immune system's response to the dead cysts can lead to brain swelling and reoccurring attacks. And it just gets more terrifying because this condition is more common than many realize with millions of cases worldwide, but that won't stop me from eating spam right out of the can. After researching this topic, I have this new, overwhelming desire to never go to the zoo ever again, and I hope you guys get the overwhelming desire to like and subscribe, but only if you enjoyed the video. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in another episode.